Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to restore backup and how to transfer data on the Honor 200 Smart. Okay, so uh, as a first method I'm, I'm going to show you how to transfer data from this device into Honor. Uh, the second uh, thing will be how to restore from the Google One and the third option is how to restore from the external storage drive if you don't know how to create such a backups uh, into the google one or how to backup your data into the external storage on our channel there's a video and show when i'm showing you that options so if you want you can look for it uh, so now simply mm, we are doing the setup process select your language and click on get started then select your region in here uh, accept that you have read and agreed to the above terms Connect into your Wi-Fi, click on next. Now we have getting your phone ready, okay. Uh, copy apps and data, we want to click on next. Click on next once more. Uh, if you don't have a cable that fits, uh, because we need to uh, connect both phones to each other, uh, you can always click on no cable and click on copy without it. Now click on next, we can do it wirelessly using the Wi-Fi. Now on the second phone we need to open up the Google app. And then we need to click on next on this device. You might not see it because it's right in here. I don't know why it's uh, with the white font. I don't know who was creating that. Mm, but now let's type uh, set up my device. Click on next. And here also click next. I verify that the shapes are the same. Click on next. Click on copy. Now verify using your uh, fingerprint or password. Now it's going to copy our account. Okay. Now we need to wait a little bit. So let's be patient. I'll see you once this loading screen is finished. All right, and now we can select uh, what we want to copy. Uh, simply select the things that you are interested in. In my case, I want any, everything, uh, but I don't want the apps. Mm, you're going to s you, you can see that it's going to take about six minutes to transfer. Uh, and yeah, this is uh, how it's going to look like. Mm, it's 20.3 gigabytes, so select everything that you want uh, and then click on copy okay now the process will start okay and now we have the Google services in here simply scroll down and click on accept now select your uh, default browser click on next in my case it's gonna be the Google Chrome and Google as my search engine click on set as default and now we have access to the Google Assistant. I'm gonna click on that I agree. Uh, in here, click on that you agree or not. It's uh, device commands. In here, I'm gonna click on skip. You can always uh, set it up later uh, in the settings, of course. Mm, all right, copying your data, about three minutes left. Uh, so I'll see you once it's finished. Okay, now you can see that everything has been copied. Uh, so simply click on done. You can also see on our second done device that uh, the copying is done. Now once more we need to wait a little bit.
Right now we have data and privacy. In here, click on next. Uh, click on allow. Uh, in here, if, if you have owner ID, you can uh, log in or create a password. But I'm gonna click on no account. And I'm gonna click maybe later. You can always set it up later in settings. Uh, device protection in here, you can set the lock screen. I'm gonna skip it. You can always do it later in the settings. In here, I'm gonna click on uh, enable all services. Uh, click on join or later, it's up to you. Uh, when it comes to the navigation system, I'm gonna select the keys. Click on finish. Mm, click on retry. Okay, because the phone wants to allow the... no. Click on no. And now uh, we are ready to use our device. Mm. Also, uh, don't disconnect from the Wi-Fi yet, because some of the apps are still being installed. Uh, from the uh, Play Store, you can see it uh, right in here. That they are being installed. Alright, so that was the first method. And now I'm going to show you how to restore backup from the uh, Google one. Alright, uh, so now let's get back into the setup uh, process. And now uh, we want to click on next again. Uh, and now when we have possibility to use other device, we want to click that we can't use it. Now click on OK. Now we need to wait a little bit. And now uh, we have option to um, connect into the uh, Google account. And now we need to uh, log in into the same Google account on which we made the backup earlier. Uh, it is crucial, so um, let me log in. Then click on next. Now uh, enter your password. Okay, then click next. Oh, sorry, my bad. I typed wrong. Okay, then click on next. Mm, click on next. Click on I agree. All right, now we have getting account info. It's gonna take a little bit, so you just need to be patient. Uh, and I'll see you once this loading screen is off and when it's done. All right, and now we have a thing that we are definitely interested in. Uh, and it's restore data from another device. Uh, that's the thing that we wanted to get. Uh, and here, as you can see, I have a list of backups that uh, I made uh, before. Uh, and in here we have uh, the backup of our owner. I'm going to select that. Mm, now, choose what you want to restore. You can restore apps, contacts, device settings, and also the call history. And the Google Photos, Gmail, Calendar, and Drive uh, will be synced automatically. Uh, so now simply click on restore once you have selected everything that you want. And now we need to wait. Okay, and, and now just like in the previous method, uh, I'm going to simply click on accept. In here, I'm gonna enable the backup. Uh, click on next, select your default uh, and browse in, uh, browser. In, in my case, it's gonna be the Google Chrome and Google as my search engine. Now, uh, I'm gonna click on agree into the Google Assistant. I'm gonna enable the voice comments. Uh, in here, I'm gonna click on skip. Now, once more, we need to wait. In here, click on next. Uh, I'm gonna skip the owner ID. You can always set it later. In here, I'm gonna click on skip. I'm gonna set it later in the settings. Uh, in here, uh, I'm gonna enable all services. I'm gonna uh, click on later. 
Mm, in here also later. As my navigation style, I'm gonna select the three keys. Mm, click on later. Mm, and in here I'm gonna click on no, because I don't want any data transfer for now. Uh, all right, and now we are ready to use our device. Uh, all of the things uh, also will be mm, uh, downloaded from the Play Store in the background, so uh, please don't uh, disconnect from your Wi-Fi. Uh, and now also uh, I'm going to show you the last uh, option, how to restore from the mm, external mm, storage drive. I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, to do it, let's open up the settings. Uh, in here, uh, scroll down. Click on system and updates. And now uh, find backup and restore. Click on data backup. Now external storage. Simply now uh, plug in your mm, external storage drive. Okay. Plug it in. Okay, now you can see that USB storage is available. Uh, select your uh, backup. We have option to restore it. Simply select your backup. Now wait a little bit because the data is being prepared. Okay, uh, select what you want to restore. Click on restore button. Uh, enter your password that you have set mm, when you was when you were creating a, a backup. Mm, so I'm going to do it right now. Okay. Oh, I misclicked. Okay, then click on OK. And now, as you can see, the restoring process has started. So let's simply wait until it's finished. It shouldn't take much time because on that backup, I don't have that many data. Okay, 90% and within a second it will be finished. Okay, 99% and restart complete. Click on done. You can now exit the settings and now everything is done. Alright, so that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.